Hi friends, today I'm going to discuss about inverse trigonometric identity. From number one, let's discuss cos inverse of minus x is pi minus cos inverse of x and that x is between must be belongs to minus one and one, including minus one and one. And number two, say inverse of minus x is pi minus say inverse of x and x greater than or equal to one or less than or equal to minus one. Number three Um, code inverse of minus x is pi minus code inverse of x and x belongs to real number and so let's prove number one and let cos inverse of minus x is equal to y so this mean minus x is equal to cos of y and if you multiply both sides by minus x is equal to minus cos of y and so x is equal to um, we know that from trigo cos of minus y is just cos y but here in is minus so when cos when will be cos is negative when cos is pi minus y so then is 180 minus y then is second quadrant for, then is for sine and cosec only positive so other is negative so this one so this one if you transfer here again you get cos inverse of x is equal to pi minus y then if you simplify let's transfer here y equal to pi minus this transfer here cos inverse of x so y is nothing but cos inverse of minus x so in this cos inverse of minus x is equal to pi minus cos inverse of x so this is first part and for second so same, same thing let say inverse of minus x is equal to y which means minus x is sec of y and if you multiply both sides by minus so in this x is equal to minus sec of y which means x is when uh, when will be sec when when will be second is negative that is when second is pi minus y then is 180 minus y and this if you transfer here you will get say inverse of x is equal to pi minus y so let's simplify let's transfer here y equal to pi minus let's transfer here say inverse of x so y is nothing but in this say inverse of minus x so say inverse of minus x is equal to pi minus say inverse of x so this is second part for third part then is for third is code inverse of minus x is pi minus code inverse of x so same thing let code inverse of minus x is y so in this minus x is equal to code y so if you multiply both side by negative x is equal to minus cot of y so x is equal to when will be cot is negative when cot is pi minus y then is 180 minus y then is second quadrant and if you transfer here you will get cot inverse of x is equal to pi minus y so let's simplify y equal to pi minus cot inverse of x therefore y is cot inverse of minus x so in this cot inverse of minus x is pi minus cot inverse of x so hence proof